Hey, welcome back to Casual Collectors. I'm Steel Wolf. And I'm Spider Kid. And today we're bringing you the GameStop promotional Marvel Legends collector cards. So to get these guys, you had to basically purchase qualifying Marvel Legend figures and you'd get a pack of these guys. Uh, there was just a lot of problems with this whole promotion. Um, apparently they've done this once before and we were able to actually pick up that uh, those first sets of cards and those cards were more of a villain's theme in, in the cards and I guess this new sets that they have now it's more of a <coughs> hero's theme but uh, basically the employees at GameStop didn't really know what was going on with the promotion weren't quite uh, aware of it or how it worked so definitely if you're trying to get these guys you know uh, Definitely put your foot down, you know, be very adamant about wanting to get them because uh, you're going to miss out. These are really cool cards and it just reminds me when I was a kid when I used to collect these things. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and they're by Upper Deck as <coughs> you can see there. And mostly as like a, a kid right now, but I still got to say though, I do like the way these cards look. I am pretty excited to open them. And I actually have some already open and they look pretty good. And they actually like, some of the, some of the pictures are based out of the comics, which I do like. Some of them like like a hologram like um, kind of look, and I, and I think it's really cool. Yeah, that's what's cool about it. You know, you'll get your basic card, and then some of them are actual foil cards. You know, and so that's really cool in my book. <coughs> you know, and like I said, we had some of these before, <coughs> and the first wave that had came out was actually the uh, villains wave. So let me show you some of those here. And this was Mephisto here, and as you can see on the on the right side there. They have some of the villains, you know, you can see Thanos there and some others, and it says Wave 2. Now, if we look in the back here, there's a little cool little art of him, it's number, you see Wave 2, and it gives you a list here of all the other cards in the actual, you know, uh, set. Now, sadly, we don't have all of them, but we have most of them. Yeah, we missed out on a few. The weird part, though, is that it said that this was, this was the first wave they did, but it said Wave 2. So I'm not sure if they actually had done a wave one and we just didn't know about it. Um, <coughs> it's very possible, but the employees definitely had no clue about it. But I mean, they're numbered as if there was a wave one. Now, this particular wave was geared more towards the villains, as you can see. And the way that the promotion worked for this one at the time was that you had to buy... The all uh, villains wave. Yeah, the villains wave in order to get one of these cards. <coughs> and I believe there was other Marvel Legends that qualified, but the majority of it that qualified was the ones from the villains wave. So we were able to get our hands on some of these here. So you have here Arcade. You know, as you can see, the little rainbow effect in the back. That foil just looks <coughs> so cool. So, so cool. And then we got back here, about the same, just kind of telling you his number there, that he is in the set, and really cool stuff, you know. I still wish they would have had like the old cards did, you know, kind of like a little power meter of their abilities or whatever, but hey, I'm okay with this. This was free, so I'm more than okay with this. This is now a, a hero's theme wave, is what they're basing these guys off of. Now, the crazy part about this also is that for this set of cards, there was no specific wave you had to purchase it was kind of just random i mean there were some villain marvel legends that qualify some heroes so it wasn't necessarily geared towards promoting a certain wave you know but let's go ahead and check this out a little bit closely you know there you can see jean gray there at the top you know looking pretty good in her 90s outfit got marvel legends trading card series there Got Baron Zemo here, clutching the fist. Captain America. Mm -hmm, looking pretty cool there. Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom looking cool as always. And on the bottom it says one foil parallel card per pack. And basically that meant that you can get, for example, like how we showed you Arcade was, was a foil card. Well, you can also get Arcade, but without the foil effect. So there's two versions of, of those foils. Upper deck there, you can see. Turn this thing around. Got Nothing. The barcode. Not much more in the back. Yeah, not much back there. So let's go ahead and open these guys and see what we got. Here they are out of the package. So we can see here. We got ourselves a foil here. Black Widow. Looking pretty sweet. And again, as you can see, there are all the heroes there. They got a, two different Iron Mans. Oh, looks like they're all Iron Man. But this is the, the Wave 3, the hero ones. Again, Black Widow foil. Very nice. 
take a look back here. Let's see who else we got. We got Red Knight. Don't really know much about this guy. Mm -mm. Still looks pretty sweet though. And we got Iron Man. Looking pretty good there in his gold and his gold and red. Yeah, looks good. Classic Iron Man. We got Iron Monger. We got I think we got one other double of this guy. Mm-hmm. And there's your Black Widow again. That was the first pack we opened. Let's try and hand me another pack there. And yeah, there's that double of the uh, Iron Monger. Oh, we got Drax. Looking good. Looking definitely greener than his uh, MCU version. Mm-hmm. Still looks good, though. And again, here's the back. You can see the back real quick. And we got Captain America looking awesome in that foil. Oh, that looks so cool. Love that. Oh, nice. War Machine. Definitely looks more like our MCU War Machine. Mm hmm. Kind of like in the middle of comic and. Yeah, and movie. Maybe like a modern. Modern comic. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I mean, another, the other pack. And it looks like this is actually part of that wave two that we were telling you about. So it looks like All they, wave. yeah, it looks like they had extras and they just gave us an extra and we didn't even notice that. But <laughs> I mean, whatever, we'll take it, you know. And again, as you can see, look, you have here on the sides there your villains, in comparisons to wave three, which is your heroes. So pretty neat. And here we got Zemnu. That was the build a figure for that wave that villain's wave and you saw the Mephisto already which looks like we got a double of him now mm -hmm. we got Kang we also have a double of that yeah and there's another arcade foil another double still cool though maybe we'll be able to trade with people all right and then our last set here that we had Looks like we got another Black Widow, but this is the other version. So if you can see back there, that was the foil down there, and this is just the basic one. Still looks good. We got here Justin Hammer. Remember we saw that guy in Iron Man 2. Got Iron Heart here. Said to debut in Black Panther 2, according to the rumors. And we got Titanium Man. Oh, this guy's looking pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And he's got the foil. I yeah. think that's one of the cards that, that, that really do deserve it. Yeah, he looks great. And this is that new figure that Marvel Select also released that I'm hearing a lot of good stuff about. And he just looks cool. He's a big old figure, too. Big old beefy boy. And yeah, that was basically all of them. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um... I don't know. Did we get all of the whole set or no? Are we wincing some of the set? As far as I know, I think we're only missing like three cards. Three? Oh, okay. So that's not bad. Hopefully we'll be able to get another pack. But honestly, uh, it's hit or miss with these things depending on the store and the employees. Um, I went to one where the employee was telling me that uh, I had purchased two Marvel Legends and they both qualified for cards, but... The employee was telling me that they were only able to give out one pack per guest because they wanted to be fair. She said, for example, you know, she had a regular that always buys like six or seven when he pre-orders stuff. So it wouldn't be fair to give him seven cards and then be out, you know, and I get it. She has a point, you know, whatever. But it seems that the that GameStop doesn't send enough of these things. So I don't know if they're kind of still testing the waters with this stuff. Um, hopefully Hasbro will include these in the packaging like yeah. like how uh, McFarlane does. And Toy know? Biz used to do it. Well, they used to do the comic books, so that's something completely different. But mm -hmm. that was cool, though. But, you know, to give you some comparisons here, so we have the Wave 2. This was the Wave 2. Here you have the Wave 3 that we just saw and opened up. Um, I wanted to show you guys some old school cards here. I used to have so many of these, but... These are these just look cool. These are your older cards. These are the type of ones I like for sure. Yeah. Mega Red versus Wolverine. Wolverine's greatest battles. Yeah. 
awesome stuff, man. But this is what they used to look like. And I remember that I used to have a set. I don't recall the name of the set or whatnot, but every single card was like that foil. Like it was kind of like this background here where it looks metallic and shiny, but the whole card was like that. And they had very vibrant 80s colors, you know, and it seemed like the characters were just ripping at themselves out of the cards. Those were so, so cool. I wish I remember what they were called, but... I like one... Wait, uh, those type of cards that I really do like. Here's another one from the same uh, set of cards. Wolverine versus Cable. 94 Fleer Ultra, as you can see there. And then here we have one of the McFarlane cards. Whenever you get a uh, Todd McFarlane DC Multiverse action figure, you always get one of these guys, which is really cool. I really like this. You got a little bit of a bio back here, some stats, you know. Um, really, really like this. The only problems I have with this is that, for example, uh, you'll have the dark side that was just released. They released two versions of him. They had an armored version and then a one without the armor. And so you would think, you know, that if you got the armored version, that the card that you got would be of dark side with his armor. But unfortunately, no. One was black and white, one was in color. Yeah, it's basically all that you got. But I mean, you know. Still, you know, you, you, you get a card. That's, that's, that's cool, you know. I like that, you know. And, you know, we're going to show you some other comparisons here, but uh, let me give you guys a more closer look of this Flare Ultra 94 with one of these new Marvel Legends series upper decks. You know, I still like the old-fashioned cards. And they're about the same, you know, dimension-wise. You know, definitely will fit your collection, your card collection. But yeah, this is so cool. I, I hope this stuff comes back. I really do. So there you go. Tune in next time for another review. And I'm Steel Wolf. And this is Spider Kid signing off. See you next time. Mm -hmm.